Hey there, this is Matt Doherty with the Merge Solutions Engineering Team. And today we're going to take a look at a piece of functionality known as field mappings. We'll start with an overview of the theory behind this piece of functionality and then go into a detailed demo of the functionality itself. The story begins uh, with a look at our documentation for the Bamboo HR integration. Bamboo HR is the platform we're going to be demoing against. And if we look on the third party data provider interactions table, we'll see a list of Bamboo HR endpoints, as well as the data points, the merge data points that we retrieve from those endpoints. So again, looking at the Bamboo HR get employees slash employees ID endpoint, we can see that merge retrieves and stores most of our employee data from that endpoint. However, this endpoint may contain many more fields than merge would otherwise store against our common models. Those fields could be standard to Bamboo HR, or they could be specific, i.e. custom to a individual Bamboo HR account. Field mappings allows you to grab one of those fields from the Bamboo HR endpoint and add it to the merge employee object or any other object in a reusable and normalized fashion. The actual mapping itself can be achieved either by the merge customer or the merge end user. And there are two locations in merge where this can happen. So now that we explained the concept, we'll take a look at what this actually looks like in practice. From the merge dashboard, you as a merge customer are able to create custom fields that you'll then map via our field mapping functionality from the dashboard. Going to the advanced page and the field mapping tab, the first page we'll see is the target fields page. This page is broken down by category and allows you to both edit existing field mappings and creating new ones. For this demo, we're gonna be sticking with the HRIS API and adding a field to the employee object. Note this toggle in the right corner that either allows you to enable or disable end user created custom fields from within merge link. For now, we're going to add a target field from the dashboard rather than from within merge link. The first field we'll have to fill out to create a target field is the target field name. This is the name that will be returned from the merge API. So it's best to give it a JSON appropriate name. In this case, we're interested in an employee's emergency contact information. So we'll add a field name of employee emergency contact mobile. We'll also give it a description of employees emergency contact number. And we'll hit confirm. Note that this field is not currently mapped for any existing linked accounts. From here, we'll connect our Bamboo HR test linked account and complete the field mapping to the corresponding field in our Bamboo HR sandbox account. From here on out, put yourselves in the shoes of a merge end user and HR admin who's going to connect their Bamboo HR system to merge via merge link. On the screen, we'll show your end user the fields that you have configured your merge organization to both read and potentially write into their Bamboo HR account. Giving this a quick review, we'll hit continue. Next, we'll see the available authentication methods for Bamboo HR. The default and recommended method is using OAuth through Bamboo HR's website. We also have the option to use API key or access token authentication as well. Sticking with OAuth, we'll hit next, and we'll see that the first credential that we have to enter is our subdomain. This is just a piece of the URL that your customer uses to sign into their Bamboo HR account. Entering the URL subdomain for the merge sandbox, I'll hit submit. And we'll see that we are taken to a Bamboo HR 
owned URL where we are prompted for our Bamboo HR username and password. I'll drop those in now and hit login. And we'll see that this window collapses back down into merge link where we have now received the OAuth credentials for this account and are validating them against Bamboo HR endpoints. Once we confirmed that the credentials are valid and have access to the fields and endpoints that we need for your integration, we'll take your end user through the rest of the linking flow. The next screen that we'll see here is our field mapping step. Again, this step is completely optional and you have the capability to hide this from the linking flow for your customers. If I hit map fields, we'll see that we have one existing field mapping. This, that is the field mapping that we previously created. We also have the option to add a field mapping. This is also something that can be disabled uh, so that your customer will not be able to create new field mappings and only be able to map existing fields that will be created by you and your team. So uh, now we want to map our employee emergency contact mobile field to the corresponding field in Bamboo HR. Using this dropdown, we'll see a list of all available fields that we return from the Bamboo HR endpoint. We also have the ability to search this list uh, using a text search. And using that, we can narrow it down to the exact field that we want to map to. I'll save that mapping. And for the sake of demo of this demo, I'll go through adding a field mapping from within merge link as well. It's a very similar experience to what we saw with the dashboard creation, uh, where we created the employee emergency contact phone number. So we are first prompted to select the merge common model that we want to map to, and we'll give it a name. Let's stick with the emergency contact emergency contact name. We want to know their name and phone number. Again, this is the field name that will be returned from the merge employees endpoint and a description about that field. Hitting next, we can scroll until we find that emergency contact name field. We'll hit save and we'll complete our mappings. At the end of the linking flow here, uh, we see a green check mark indicating that we are successfully connected to Bamboo HR and hitting continue. We have green check marks next to each of the objects that merge confirmed we have access to for this Bamboo HR account. When we hit continue, will show a screen that gives your customer the ability to review accessible data, update their integrations, meaning update the credentials on their integration, as well as map fields if we want to add or edit any additional field mappings to this account. For now, we'll hit finish. And then on the dashboard, we'll see our newly created Bamboo HR account. This account is currently syncing. When it is done with the initial sync, we'll be able to perform a get employee request from Postman and take a look at the field mappings that come back for this account. From the linked account page, we can also view and edit the field mappings we've created for this linked account. We'll see the two field mappings that we've already established, as well as the option to create new ones as necessary. We can also edit and delete our field mappings using the three dots on the right-hand side. Note the two different flags for the two different types of field mappings that we've created for this linked account. The organization-wide target field indicates that this field can be recycled across multiple linked accounts and multiple integrations. Whereas the linked account specific target field, which we created from within merge link during the linking flow is specific to this particular Bamboo HR linked account. Let's go a step further and assume that I wanted to create this mapping in perpetuity for all future and current Bamboo HR linked accounts. That would make 
this field a candidate for an integration wide field mapping, which we can create from the advanced tab. Finding our target field and using the Chevron on the right hand side, we're taken to the field mappings by integration table. Scrolling to Bamboo HR, we can use the add field mapping button to find our target field, which will again establish this field mapping for all existing Bamboo HR linked accounts, as well as all future connected Bamboo HR linked accounts. An advantage of creating a field mapping like this across an entire integration is that it can be applied to multiple integrations. If, for example, I also wanted the emergency contact mobile number for humans, all I would need to do is find the corresponding humans contact field and establish this mapping as an integration wide mapping for the humans integration as well. Now that we have this mapping established, we can pull data from merge via postman and take a look at the results. So just dropping in my account token and hitting send, we can see that we have a 200 from merge uh, with a paginated list of employee objects from Bamboo. So that's all good. If we jump into our Bamboo HR sandbox, we see that we have Charles Moody, one of our employees. And we see that he has an emergency contact, Jake Moody, his brother, with a phone number listed here. If we then back in merge, specify a filter on Charles's first name and hit send, we can see both of our field mappings established for this employee, Charles.